with offense. I say about maybe just one round. <laughs> but but as he but as I tuned into his voice and listened and got quiet. Number one, I got quiet so I can hear his voice above all the other voices of Hasatan and his imps trying to tell me what I should do, what I have a right to do. I got quiet. And see, after I got quiet, I began to, to rewind the tape and hear where the Most High began to rewind the tapes and I could hear what Pastor Kenny was saying about offense. And then I could hear what the men on the barbershop called that we have once a week. I could hear what they were saying about offense. And the fellas were saying, it was two of them doing most of the talking. They were saying, just because you know the right thing don't mean you need, need to say it all the time. And they were speaking um, more along on the subject of marriage. And however that to be true, offense comes in almost every relationship that we have or the opportunity to be in offense. So as I heard them voices, I was like, okay, there go my orders right there. Well, that was my um my recognition or my recognizing what was going on and knowing for sure that this was offense. So as I began to um like I said, I didn't even pray, I just got quiet. I said, okay, I'm not gonna say nothing to him then. I'ma just leave it alone. But as I as I did that I got a a sharp poke in the side, I guess you would say, from the most high. And was like, really? Is that what you, are you gonna cop out to that? And I said, well, no, what, what, what would you have me to do? And he was like, I got a sense that he was saying, well, that's what I've been waiting on you to say the whole time. But instead of handling it one way with the truth, I came in another direction, which I'm not even gonna air that dirty laundry of what, what happened and how I solved it. But the most high gave me a plan. I followed it out where he gave me my orders. I followed it, followed them out to the T and was successful to where at the end of the day, everybody was smiling and laughing. And it's an opportunity for them to see a side of me that's not always serious. But the point of the day is whose side are you placing yourself on? See, it's not really about whose side you're on, it's about whose side are you placing yourself on? Because that's really the side you're on because people can say they're on your side, but in reality, when the I'm not gonna say that word, but when the stuff hit the fan, you'll really start beginning to see who's on your side. But like them, them fellas that stood up on each side of Ezra, see that's how the Most High want us supporting the men that stand up in his way. And see, it ain't no question who's standing up and doing his will. Because the Ruach in you is going to identify with the Ruach in him. Or the spirit in you is going to identify with the spirit in him. And like um, Mary and Elizabeth, that Ruach going to jump in your belly and say, This the one. I can trust this fellow. Like I said in the uh, recording before, the Most High has signed off on him. Because I got that check in my spirit that says, yep, that's the one. But it's up to us to say I'm on your side. I'm not going to listen to the petty differences that the um, Hasatan tried to um, show us. Because there are always going to be differences. It's all about how we handle them. 
if we're gonna say I'm for the Most High, it doesn't matter what your background is and how the Most High has taught you. I'ma identify with you simply because you identify with the Most High. Just like the text we were we we read yesterday about you um live in peace with those that um, call on the name of the Most High. And see, that's my focus. If you're for the Most High, then I'm for you. Just like I heard a brother say in a recording or uh, on a, in a video I saw yesterday, he said, if you love the Most High, then I love you. And see, it's just that simple. And in loving somebody, you give way to them. And in loving somebody, you want to hear their opinion of how the Most High has taught them up to that point. Because we have to realize the Most High is always talking to us, where he's always communicating with us. So if the Most High is in this fellow's life, or this lady's life, then I want to know how he communicates with them. Because it may be in a form that I can identify with, that I can get closer to my father. And see, like I was saying before, when the men stood up, then the whole crowd stood up. See, folks need to see the so-called black man, the so-called nigga, get together and celebrate the Most High in unity. As one man, as the text said, and when we can do that, we'll start realizing Okay, I'm just an elbow. I thought I was a head. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> I thought I was a hand, but I'm a pinky toe. <laughs> oh boy. But see the whole point about it, you are a part of the body. And I say the body, but as the text says, the body of the Most High. You're his representative. You are his hand. You're his pinky toe. And he is the head. And see, that's something else we have to remember. Just like I wrote in my, um, my notes, when you're, the Most High is looking for soldiers. But first, you gotta be a man. And any man knows how to follow a real man knows how to follow well um, no i said that he's looking for soldiers but first he's looking for men and men of of the most high yah as some people would say men of god but men of the most high yah and see what that means is that fella knows how to follow see when you're a man of the most high you already know how to train. You, you already being trained. And notice I said a man. Everybody can't call themselves a, a man of the most high. We have a lot of boys out here posing as men of the most high and that's the problem. That's why we have no unity. That's why it's all this bickering, bickering, bickering and debating on these little small issues. Now, I don't mind a good debate every now and again. It's all about what you're debating about. And if you're defending the Most High's name and his character and his word, then debate on, my brother or sister. But when it comes to these little frivolous arguments, as I think the text said yesterday, we got to let that go and concentrate on the, the main thing. As my Pastor Kenny would say, let the main thing be the main thing. <clears throat> and see, the main thing is the Most High and His business. And if we as a people are not concentrating on Him and His purposes, His kingdom coming, 
then we have we find it find ourselves having issues with him. Because he's the one that says seek first the kingdom. Then all these things will be added. Then the unity will be added to Israel. I'm going to get out here and get my walk on and my ride on. But I think that's my word of encouragement today. Make sure that you know whose side or what side you place yourself on. Because it's an action word. It's a daily walk. By placing yourself on the most high side, it's going to take some action. And a lot of times, or most of the time, that action is going to come in the form of following. Or standing up beside the man of the most high. And woman of the most high. But standing beside the leader the most high gave you. And not coming into our pants. See, that's the most important thing. Not getting offended by the leader, by the leaders that the most high put in place. And see, I will say this. It's always going to be something small and, and um, irrelevant. It's always going to be something small and irrelevant. Like how somebody says the name of the Most High or how somebody greets you or how somebody's um, not wearing a head covering while they're um, teaching or like I said, exhorting. But these little frivolous arguments shows our maturity. And see, as I was saying before, there's a lot of little boys and girls out here that's claiming to be grown folks. But see, just as the most I was showing me something last night, mm, that's a good thought. He was like, mm, that was one of my scripts. I got to get it. I got to put that in there. Because this was going to be my thought for today. Mm, excuse me. But the Most High said make a left instead of going straight. And it's Ephesians 5, 1 and 2. Be ye therefore as followers of the Most High as dear children. And walk in love as Christ or as Mashiach also have, have loved us. And have given himself for us uh, an, an offering and a sacrifice to the Most High for a sweet smelling Savior. And see, that's, that's the place the Most High wants us. But the point is that he made to me, how is it going to be a sweet smelling Savior in the nostrils of the Most High? It has to go through the fire. That sacrifice has to be burnt. And as I was pondering that thought, I was like, mm, that's, a, that's a powerful thought because a lot of us don't want to go through the fire. And that was a way the Most High taught me to break the ice. with something everybody can identify with. <laughs> and see, uh, just as he was telling me, I spoke to this fellow on the, um, well, I didn't speak first. <laughs> I alerted him that I was behind him because he was on the lake and fly fishing. And anybody that knows anything about fly fishing, <laughs> you sling the, the hook and the, the reel and the line 
back and forth. And I'm not stupid. I'm not gonna walk into a line and then say he should have saw me coming. So I announced myself. I said, I'm right behind you. He jumped, said, okay, thank you. And you could tell he was startled. Because even though from time to time, you can hear that brace clicking when the padding has worn off a bit he couldn't hear me because I like to walk soft and carry a big stick but he was um I said as soon as I said that that was my opportunity he opened the door and I asked him about something we both can identify with, fishing. I said, you got any bites? He said, nah, I think my problem is setting a hook when they do nibble. I said, okay, so you have a great day. He said, you too. And when he gave me that you too, I could tell that he was somewhat astonished that I was speaking to him and that I was wishing him a great day. And see, the most I was telling me, a lot of us Hebrews are getting caught up with identity and they're looking down on our brothers from another mother I should say and he was telling me a lot of them are going to be surprised when they get to the kingdom and see that brother from another mother standing there amongst the brothers from the mother or the brother from the sons but I just brought that up because that kept my attitude high. And like I said before, that's how the Most High uses us to identify with other folks by something we both can identify with. Just as you see here, me taking a picture of the dogs. Yeah. Hey, buddy. Yeah, hey, buddy. Oh, you can look over here. Hey there. Hey there. Hey there. Y'all have a good one. You Thank you. On, and see, I broke the ice earlier by speaking to him and complimenting on that chocolate lamb. Because he is a beautiful dog. And I did that the other day too with the um the Alaskan shepherd dog I, I met. And I failed to mention the other dog. And I'm sure he was like, well, I'm here, I'm sitting here too. And I, and that's how we are as people. We want to point out each other or those that we think we identify with just by color and leave off the other fella or the other child of the most high. And just like I did there, I thought about it after I did it. I asked him, could I um, take a picture of their dog? And I should have said dogs, because just like that black lab, I had one just like him. But I was so concentra concentrated on the chocolate lab because of the color. And see, we have to get out of that if we're gonna ever be unified as the Most High's children and his, as his people. Because this color barrier it's gonna be um, a great factor here in the next few. Because just as our ancestors were leaving their Egypt, there was a lot of folks that joined themselves to them. And if you're one of those extreme Hebrews that wanna say it's just for you and your folks and people look like you, 
you're gonna be sorely mistaken. And to be honest, you don't wanna miss the kingdom because of that attitude. But that's my time. Stay up and keep pushing forward in the right direction. Unity, whose side are you placing yourself on? Mm-hmm.